Hey, I'm Laura Live Namastram Yoga. Welcome to my home. Let's do a vinyasa flow practice. just a moment here take a second to cross your legs roll your shoulders back get your spine aligned maybe close your eyes tune into your breath so what I wanted to try today is a, a vinyasa flow practice but we're gonna try to do kind of a continual flow so once we start moving we're not gonna hold poses and spend time stabilizing in them but rather we're really gonna flow with the breath from pose to pose through sun salutations and into standing pose sequences when we get to the end of the practice we will do some holds and things like um, some back bends and some deeper stretches so that we have a chance to um, to do some stretching out at the end let's say um, but let's try to keep it flowing throughout this so while you're sitting let's go ahead and really cultivate that ujjayi breath so we've got that to go with let yourself spend a moment finding the narrowing of the back of the throat a gentle sounded breath evening out the rhythm so there's no pause between breaths one breath should be the length same length as the next one inhales and exhales even to each other and so on and we're not perfect metronomes so our breathing rhythm may shift throughout the practice but the goal is to try to establish something that we think is going to be a fitting rhythm and then do our best to stay consistent throughout. That said, your rhythm might be slightly different from mine. So if you find yourself going a little faster or slower than me, that's okay. I would say don't worry about it too much if you're a little behind, as long as you can kind of keep track. We're not moving fast. We're just going to be moving with the breath. Go ahead and now let's come to tabletop. So set up your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. And we're gonna start out really simple, cat cow. So spread your fingers wide, get yourself aligned here. Inhale to cow pose, head and tail lift, chest and belly drop. Exhale to cat pose, arch the spine, let the head and tail come down. And back and forth, warming up the spine here. Get the shoulder blades involved as much as they will. Try to articulate the vertebrae of the spine so that it doesn't feel like you're just one piece that's bending and flexing, but rather each of those little joints move separately and independently. And then continuing to follow the breath, we're gonna to start to add on here. So as we start to go to cat pose, we're gonna drop the heels or hips to the heels, child's pose. Inhale, back up to cow. And then this time, exhale, downward facing dog. So alternating into down dog, but inhale, knees back to the floor. And then exhale, child's pose. So we'll just do this a couple of times. Each inhale is bringing us back to hands and knees. Exhaling either to down dog or child's pose. Follow your breath. And then the next time you come to down dog, instead of dropping knees back to the floor, you're gonna inhale forward to plank pose. And then from plank, you'll come to child's pose. So knees to the floor, hips to the heels, child's pose. Inhale back to tabletop or cow if you wanna sway the back. Exhale down dog. And then from down dog, you'll inhale to plank. Exhale, child's pose. One more time through this little cycle here. Inhale, tabletop. And then exhale, downward facing dog. From down dog, let's inhale the right leg up, down dog split, and then exhale, just take it down. So we're just gonna do one leg at a time. Inhale, lift the leg. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, come forward to plank, and let's exhale, lower all the way to the floor. Inhale, just starting with cobra for the first back bend, and exhale, downward facing dog. 
This time, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, let's come forward to plank and lower down. One-legged chaturanga, perhaps. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, take the left leg up. Exhale, move forward to plank and lower. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. From down dog, inhale, look forward between the hands. So lift the head. Exhale, step, walk, or hop the feet to the front of the mat. Now we're gonna roll or float all the way up on an inhale, reverse swan dive, reach the arms. And exhale, forward fold. Let's go ahead and roll. So you can reverse swan dive or you can roll really, but we're just gonna go up and down a few times here. Inhale, come up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, forward fold. One more time, inhale, roll up. And then this next time, exhale, forward fold. We're gonna inhale to Ardha Uttanasana. Inhale, feet together at this point. So if you need to make that adjustment, you can. Exhale, Uttanasana. And then one more time, so we're doing like a half sun A here. Go ahead and take your palms together in front of the heart. And we'll do one half sun A, and then we're gonna go into our full sun A. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. And then we go back to the forward fold. Inhale, reverse and come on up. Exhale, palms together in front of the heart. And then this time we're gonna continue on for the full sun A. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. And then as you exhale, step to plank and lower. And you can take your knees to the floor if you want to. And inhale, come to cobra. Or you can take chaturanga and then up dog. Exhale, down dog. And we're just gonna take one inhale and down dog and you can use that to look forward. And then exhale, bend the knees, step, walk, or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Root down to rise up. And this is just our classic Sun A sequence. We're just not really holding in down dog except for that one inhale. Reach, exhale, Uttanasana. Stay with your rhythm. Inhale, Arda. Exhale, Chaturanga. And you might jump to Chaturanga, so that's an option here as well. Inhale, Up Dog or Cobra. Exhale, Down Dog. One inhale. Exhale, Step Walk or Hop Forward. Inhale, Half Lift. Exhale, Fold Uttanasana. Inhale, Reverse, come on up and palms together. And we'll just take a couple more on your own. So I'm gonna stop with the actual cueing here so you can really concentrate on your breath. Same sequence. just for fun, so keep going, continue on. We're gonna try to do uh, a couple that are like really short. So a four breath sun salutation. So palms come together in front of the heart. And basically we're just omitting a breath in down dog. So inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, forward fold. We'll still take Ardha Uttanasana, so inhale. Exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, into down dog. But then we're going to inhale right into Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. 
We're going to inhale, rise up, but then on the exhale, we're going to go right back to Uttanasana to continue on. We'll do one more like this. Inhale, exhale, high to low flank. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, reverse swan dive, and then let's just take palms together in front of the heart here. And we're going to go into some Sun C practice. So inhale, take the arms out and up. Exhale, swan dive forward over the leg, and then instead of Ardha Uttanasana, we step the right foot back, knee down, and you inhale into a low lunge. Exhale. You can take Chaturanga, or because the knee's on the floor, maybe easier to lower that way. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, and then the right foot steps immediately forward, left knee lowers to come into the low lunge on the other side. Exhale, step forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, reverse the swan dive. Exhale, palms together in front of the heart. The second half of the sequence, we lead with the left leg. Inhale, exhale, forward fold, left foot steps back. We're inhaling to the low lunge. Exhale, lowering to the ground. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward, right knee lowers. Exhale, step all the way forward. Reverse swan dive. And we're going to continue on, but we're going to do a slightly modified or maybe advanced version of this with high lunges instead of low. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Now we'll step the right foot back to come all the way to crescent lunge. Inhale. And then we can take chaturanga because it'll be easier to step to plank and lower. You can take up dog, but if you prefer to stay with cobra, that's fine. Exhale, down dog. And then the right foot steps forward. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, step to forward fold. Inhale, reverse and come on up. Exhale, palms together. We're going to do the same thing second side, but we're going to take a couple more adjustments. So exhale, Forward fold. Now this time the left foot's gonna step back. We're gonna inhale high lunge, but then we're gonna exhale, take the left hand to the ground, and we're gonna inhale side plank. See if you can roll all the way open to it. Exhale, chaturanga, turn back to the floor. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then second side, the left foot steps forward. Inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, rolling all the way open to side plank, and we can go right back into vinyasa here. Lower down. Inhale, take a back bend. And exhale, downward facing dog. Now from here, just take one inhale. Exhale, step or hop forward. We're gonna complete like a sun A. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Exhale, palms together in front of the heart. Let's go into a sun B. So Utkatasana, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. And once again, Vinyasa. Now if you're tired of Vinyasas, you can modify. I'm doing that. You can skip them entirely and just hold an extra breath in down dog, that's fine. From down dog, inhale the right leg into the air. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Back heel goes down. We're just going to inhale into warrior one. And then, of course, right back into vinyasa. So exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, vinyasa, modified vinyasa, no vinyasa, up to you. When you get back to down dog, let's again just take that one inhale. Exhale, step or hop back to the top of the mat. 
Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. We're gonna come through chair and then we're gonna go right back into it. Let's do one more just like that. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha. And exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga, and maybe even a one-legged chaturanga if you like. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, warrior one. And again, vinyasa. Step or hop forward. Inhale, Ardha. Exhale, Uttanasana. And we're gonna come through chair. We're gonna start again. This time we shall add on. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha. And exhale, Chaturanga. So we're just gonna kind of work into the direction of a dancing warrior sequence, which is basically just an extension of Sun B. So from down dog, inhale the right leg up. Let's do a little core work. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this in. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, lift that leg up. Exhale, tap your right arm with your right knee. Inhale, lift up. Again, following the breath. Exhale, knee to the left, so a little twist. Inhale, lift your leg. And exhale, step it forward. And now we're gonna come to warrior one again. Inhale, but we're gonna exhale right to warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, and then once again, vinyasa. So we're gonna keep flowing. Following the breath here best you can. From down dog, inhale the left leg up, and let's do the core on this side too. So exhale, knee to chest, shoulders move forward over the wrists. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knee to the left arm. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, knee to the right arm. Inhale, down dog split. And exhale, step the foot forward. Let's go to our standing poses. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. And then vinyasa. Try to keep following the breath if you need to take a break. No worries. One inhale and down dog. Exhale, step or lightly hop those feet. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Let's come through chair pose. And we're gonna once again add on. So we're just gonna continue to build on the same sequence a couple more times. So we have the foundation. There'll just be new bits here and there. From down dog. Inhale the right leg up, and we can, we can skip the core now. We've done that once, that's good. Step it forward, back heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, and then this won't be a surprise. Exhale, extended side angle, so like a full dancing warrior. Inhale, reverse again, and then vinyasa. You can see I'm modifying my vinyasas, but take these at the level you want. So you can stay with chaturanga up dog if you like. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. And then vinyasa. So we'll get to down dog, we'll come back to the front of the mat, and then this next one that we're gonna do, we're gonna add in some balance poses. So we're gonna try to do it with the breath. Do the best you can. Inhale here. Exhale, step or hop forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold down deep. Coming through chair, inhale. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha. Exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. You may have done this sequence with me before. Inhale, the right leg up. 
Exhale, step it forward. We're gonna step to warrior one, but then we're gonna right away exhale into warrior three, and we're gonna inhale into half moon pose. So inhale, half moon, bend the front knees, step back, you're exhaling to warrior two, and then it's just dancing warrior. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. And then vinyasa. We'll do this whole sequence twice just because I know with the balance it's sometimes hard to catch the first time through. Second side. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Back heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior three. Balance. Inhale, half moon. Open it up. Exhale, step back to come to warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side. Inhale, reverse again. And vinyasa. And we're going to just flow right into this, the dancing warrior, the balancing dancing warrior on the second side. So we're not going to come back to the top of the mat. So from down dog, inhale the right leg back up. Just keep it going. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, half moon. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side. Inhale, reverse. And exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warriors three. Inhale, half moon. Woo, wobbly. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side. Inhale, reverse again. And exhale, vinyasa. Up dog. And down dog. Let's just take one inhale. Exhale, step walker, hop the feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Let's bend the knees, sink the hips. We're gonna come to chair, inhale, but we're gonna exhale on a twist. So left arm outside of the right leg, twist. Inhale, back to center. We're just gonna go back and forth a couple of times. Exhale, twist the other way. Inhale, center. Exhale, once again, twist to the right. Inhale, center, and twist to the left. Inhale, center, and then let's go ahead and exhale, forward fold over the legs. We're gonna go back into vinyasa again, keep it flowing. Half lift, and high to low plank. Modify as needed, skip if you want. From down dog, inhale, let's take the right leg up. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. We're gonna come up to warrior one again, but then we're gonna straighten the front leg and exhale, forward fold over it. Now inhale, lift and lengthen, step your back foot a little closer, reach the head away. Exhale, fold down again to pyramid. Now fingers, left fingers to the floor, let's open to revolve triangle and exhale, turn back to the floor. Inhale, lift and lengthen, almost like an Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step back, Chaturanga. Let's see if we can do this on the other side. Inhale, Cobra or Up Dog. Exhale, Down Dog. Inhale, take the left leg up. Exhale, step it forward. So we're starting with Warrior One. Inhale, but then we're going to straighten that front leg. Exhale, fold over the leg like a long pyramid, but then step the back foot in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold over the leg, full pyramid. Right fingers to the floor. Left arm up, lengthen the spine, turn open, revolve. Exhale, fold back down over the leg. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Cobra or Up Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. One inhale. Exhale, step or hop forward. Inhale, half lift. 
Exhale, folding. Go ahead, bend the knees, sink the hips. Inhale, come to chair pose. We're gonna exhale our butts to the floor. So see if you can drop your hips down. And then inhale, come to boat pose, Navasana. Go ahead and exhale, drop to the floor. And then inhale, float up into a little bridge, arms reach up and over. Exhale, roll down. We're just gonna roll up and down a few times here through the spine. Press the feet, inhale. Exhale, slowly lower the spine to the ground. This might feel a little more restful. We have been on our feet. Inhale. And exhale, lower. And inhale, float up. And exhale, lower now. Let's go ahead and actually hold this next back bend. So if you want to go ahead, lift up, press the feet down. Maybe roll the shoulders underneath you, interlace your fingers and breathe. And it's very funny that a, a back bend should feel like a resting pose, but finally we're coming to stillness. We should be very warmed up here. And then getting the shoulders out of the way, just for a moment, let's take the knees into the chest, take the arms out, and just drop the knees to one side. And then coming back through center, and then drop the knees to the other side. And you can find this with the breath as well. So maybe inhale, knees in. Exhale, knees drop. Turn your head away from your knees. Inhale, knees in. Exhale, knees drop. Again, turn your head away from your knees. Inhale, bring those knees back in. Put the feet back on the floor. Let's take a second back bend. So you can stay with bridge, but if you're feeling warm and ready for it, let's take a wheel. Take your hands by your head, fingers point towards your shoulders, elbows point towards the ceiling, heels slightly away from the hips. Press the feet down, start to roll up to the top of your head, and then once your head is on the ground, adjust your arms, plug your shoulders in, make sure your toes aren't turned out, and then press down to come up, move your heart back, and breathe here. And then when you're ready to come down, tuck your chin, slowly lower, roll it down. And let's do the same thing with some little twists. So arms out, doesn't really matter which way the knees go first, just let them drop to one side and your head turns the other way. Back to center. One more time each side. And then bring the knees back in. Go ahead and grab hold of your shins. Roll from shoulders to hips a couple of times. And then the last time you roll, let's try to come to another boat pose here. So finding, once again, Navasana. Lift your heart, reach through the feet and the legs. Balance. And then let's go ahead and take the feet to the floor. And we're gonna just play a little bit with um, a bit of arm balancing here. So we're gonna do Titibasana, just because why not? It's something that doesn't get done a whole lot, I think, uh, but it can be just a little fun. Um, so feet should be, um, I'm gonna kind of show from the side here a little bit at an angle. Feet should be probably a little wider than your hips actually, because the goal is gonna be to get the shoulders like under the knees. So bend your knees and one at a time, try to get, your shoulders under your knees. You can use your hands on your back, the back of your calves here to help with that. Um, and maybe just playing here. So if this is a lot for you, stay and work here. You can fly the arms out. If you want, you can flip the arms up and bring them to your back and see if you can straighten the legs a little bit just to get a good stretch in there. And then if you're able to, bring the palms to the floor outside of your feet. And they do actually need to be flat here. And then we're kind of just sitting back on our arms with our legs. And then if possible, see if you can lean enough. Now the hips are very close to the ground. So if you land on your hips, 
It's not the end of the world, but you're going to try not to bring the feet together or if you can, you can start to extend them out. Heart up and forward and breathe, reach through the toes. Look up if you can. And then when you're ready to come back down, go ahead and just make your way back down. Get the arms out of the way and let's do a little Baddha Konasana here. So knees wide, heels tuck in and take a good forward fold. So I kind of think it can be really fun to just flow, flow, flow. It does make your practice feel like a workout. So you get warmed up. For me, I'm a little sweaty. But it also means that when we get to our stretches, we might be more prepared for them and eager for them. <laughs> Use your elbows to gently press your knees open, but push back up against your elbows with your knees as you let your upper body lean in. And then bringing the knees back in. Let's come to the feet. We're going to come back to down dog. And if you feel like, well, I, I, I could use another vinyasa, then I encourage you to take that. But if you've had enough vinyasas, like me, just step to down dog. Let's take the right leg into the air. Open the hip and bend the top knee. And we're going to prep for a pigeon stretch. Because, yeah, pigeon feels so nice. Especially after we've really worked the legs. Look forward. Bring that right knee forward behind the right wrist. Use the left toes to help walk the left leg back. Get onto the top of the thigh. Make sure you're not rolled onto your right hip and then start to fold down. Forearms to the floor. Maybe let the head hang down heavy. If you feel like you are able to walk the hands out and go lower, let yourself give in to this pose. And then floating up with the upper body, we'll stretch the back leg. So bring your right fingers to the floor, bend your left knee behind you, reach back with your hand for your foot and gently draw your heel towards your hip. You can take any variations here you like. So if you want to go into a mermaid or start taking less weight on the front hand, you certainly can give those a shot here. And then moving out, Stepping or bringing your palms back to the floor, stepping back to down dog. If you want to take a moment to shake out your right leg or kick through the heel, go for it. And then take the left leg up. Open the hip, bend the top knee, point the knee to the sky. And then move it forward behind the left wrist. Let the shin cross the mat. Use the right toes to walk the right leg back. Get nicely onto the top of that thigh. Make sure you're not rocked to your left hip this side and then folding down. Find your way here. Walk the hands out when you're ready to. Maybe take the head down. And then coming up, we'll stretch the back leg out. So bend your right knee, reach back with your hand for your foot and draw the heel in. And any, um, anything you did on the first side, try to do a symmetrical version on the second side. And then let that go, hands to the floor, back to down dog, and you might shake out the left leg or kick through the heel here. Mm. 
Inhale, look to the front of the mat. Exhale, step, walk, or hop forward. And let's just come to a seat, and we're literally just going to finish up with a really simple forward fold. So take the legs out, starting from Dandasana, staff pose. Engage the legs. The torso is really upright in Dandasana. The shoulders are back. The arms are strong and by the sides. Flex the feet back towards you. And then take the arms out and up on an inhale. And as you exhale, all of that strength and tension in the upper body can just release, but the legs stay toned. Fold in and breathe. We're gonna to try to take about 10 breaths here. So if you're, you know, barely folded now, by the end of the 10th breath, you may observe yourself gradually deepening the pose without you really having to try too hard. And that really is the goal, is to let go, not force, but just allow the pose to happen and deepen at its own pace. And then walk your hands in to bring yourself up and let's cross the legs. I encourage you to take your own Shavasana at the end of this practice, but I want to close with you in person here or virtually in person. So go ahead and bring your palms together in front of the heart. Close your eyes, tune into your breath here. Just check in with yourself for one more moment before you transition to Shavasana. Notice how you're feeling. And we'll end with a simple bow forward. So the light in me recognizes and honors the light in you wherever you are. Thanks again for joining me today and sharing a practice. Namaste. Yay. Do let me know in the comments if you liked this type of practice. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you hit the notification bell, you'll get notified when I post new videos. Um, and that's it. Take care and I'll see you next time. Namaste.